YouTube, what's going on guys? My name is Gray with Paradox Customs. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the conversation of is DDR5 better than DDR4? Now, there's been a lot of um, information transmitted from people that use DDR5 and people that use DDR4. Um, and we get a question a lot in the DMs of should you buy DDR5 now or should you go with DDR4 for your build? But like I said, some people say yes, some people say no. Here at Paradox Customs, we recommend DDR4 currently. Let me explain why. The first thing I wanna talk about is future-proofing. If you're buying DDR5 to future-proof, you don't know what future-proofing is. Guys, the specs of DDR5 now are not what they're gonna be in a year from now. DDR4, when it first came out, was doing very low clock speeds and continued to innovate and improve over the time that DDR4 launched and became the modern standard. If you are wanting to pick up DDR5, please, please, please be smart, wait, a year maybe and then consider future proofing because right now you wouldn't be future proofing you'd be buying overpriced ram sticks and you would be throwing them away in a year because they are under spec that isn't to say that ddr5 isn't impressive as it is right now with the speeds that it has right now it is still going to be very impressive there are different workloads that it's going to shine through and different ones that it's not going to since here at paradox customs we are prioritizing gaming and editing with the gaming side of things, DDR5 is not better than DDR4 just yet. But like I said, that isn't to say that DDR5 doesn't shine through in other areas, but in gaming, DDR4 is still better. Again, with DDR5 and gaming, there are a lot of you know baby steps that this new piece of hardware is going through. Uh, performance will be increased, but the stability is not there just yet. You're going to experience crashes, some weird blue screens. We've seen a lot of blue screens with Intel already. AMD hasn't gotten their hands on DDR5 just yet. They're about to, and we'll be sure to cover that when it releases, but there is a lot of instability with DDR5 currently. I think that if you are strictly gaming, like most of our customers are, and most of our fans are, you're gonna wanna stick with DDR4 just because the performance hike isn't enough to grant an upgrade. Like I said, the RAM sticks are going to be extremely expensive, and you're not gonna wanna hork over five, $600 just to get an early prototype of what DDR5 will be a year from now. DDR5 is just so early that everything is overpriced. There's a chip shortage. There's not much product being made. DDR5 is either out of stock completely or it's extremely expensive. If you buy a DDR5 4800 megahertz 32 gigabyte CL40 kit, you're gonna be spending in between 275 to $300. But if you go with DDR4, you get the 3600 CL16, um, G Skill is a great brand for that. That's the one we use most of the time. Uh, you're going to be spending about $140. And that is a huge price difference for something that is proven to be stable versus the newest of the new that isn't proven to be stable and reliable. And that's not to say that DDR5 prices won't stay high forever or this high at least. But for now, since it is a new line and it is very, very early, there's a lot of things going on in the world right now that are affecting technology chips. It's, it's a bad time to buy. Uh, the prices are not what they should be. They will be different, uh, I'm assuming, a year from now, two years, maybe. But DDR5 will continue to get more stable over time, especially when AMD rolls out uh, their AM5 socket. Um, it's going to be a good time. Uh, DDR5 and AM5 is going to be very, very impressive, but you guys need to have patience and you need to wait for it. DDR5 will be the future standard. Should you buy right now? No, again. But... DDR4 will be getting discontinued by manufacturers of motherboards. Most of them, maybe there will be a few that sneak through, um, but you're gonna be buying DDR5 if you're buying a new build in the coming years because DDR5 is becoming the new standard. And like I said, guys, with DDR5, it is still very early and there's gonna be better opportunities to buy down the line. The speeds are gonna get faster. The latency is gonna get lower. You guys know how this goes. It happened with DDR4 and I'm sure it happened with DDR3, but I was like 10. So. In conclusion, do we think it's the right time to buy DDR5? No, we do not. With our builds, uh, we put in the highest spec we go is 32 gigabytes CL14, unless you request higher. We are still rocking DDR4 for the time being. If that changes, we'll be sure to let you know. We do not think it's the right time to buy with DDR5. The product is going to get better. The timings are gonna get lower and lower and the clock speeds are going to get faster. If you guys do have any rebuttals, comments, conversations you wanna start down below, please be sure to drop them. We would love to talk to you guys and get your opinions too. Do you have DDR5? Do you have DDR4? What do you guys think? 
let me know in the comments down below guys my name is great thank you so much for coming to the video drop a like comment and subscribe turn on the bell for notifications and if you guys like these sit down style videos a little bit different from our normal videos please let me know um i love making these kind of videos and i want to be able to provide informational content for you guys so take care everybody we'll see you in the next one peace